Well, hello, uh, friends of War Electro Parts. We are uh, dealing here with a Dell Precision T3600. It's a very nice computer and um, still powerful, even though it's a little aged right now, but it's a very, very uh, good computer. And we wanted to show you how to install the driver for this uh, computer for the RAID card actually this computer has an embedded uh, RAID card and we wanted to show you how to install the driver so let's go and check it out uh, first just to give you a reference the uh, computer specs um, in this case are the following it has a Xeon E5-1620 uh, CPU it's running at 3.6 gigahertz speed I'm not sure if this is a 8 core or, or a 6 core I, uh, I'm I suspect it's an 8 core but in this case we have a 32 gig RAM uh, installed and it also has a 40 gig solid state drive which is uh, hosting the uh, operating system is Windows 10 Pro as you can see and also um, it has a couple of SATA hard drives both are um, 500 gig and they are controlled by a RAID card uh, we're gonna show you guys how to install the driver for it uh, that's the next step there you go okay this is the driver for the RAID controller that we need to install so if you run this program this program will unzip a lot of files and the files will go on the local disk on the C drive and they will be installed under the Dell uh, folder drivers JV4JN and uh, that file will give you all these folders and the one you will need to install is this one the last uh, folder that is called RSTEF6IASTORS Win8 64 that's the folder that contains the driver file but this one installed automatically the the file that we showed you first which is uh, on our downloads folder this one will just install all the folders that you have just seen all these and then you have to quote unquote manually install the driver now we're going to show you how to install that driver all right let's go and check that out okay the first step is you have to search for the device manager which is this app from the control panel that will let you see what drivers you need to install for each device on the computer in this case we are missing the SAS controller which is the RAID controller the RAID card that is like we said em embedded on the motherboard it's on the board right it's not a, a card that it's installed on one of the slots of the computer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the SAS controller that you see there that it's missing we do right click and we do update driver in this case we're gonna tell it browse my computer for driver software because we know already where it is we click on browse and then under browse we go to local disk and then under local disk we go to the Dell folder the drivers folder the JV4JN folder and then we point with the mouse at the last folder the one that ends with Windows 864 once you do that and you have the folder um, selected you click on OK and then click Next and Windows will read the drivers from that folder and will install the driver it says now Windows has successfully updated your drivers 
and it even gives you the name of the driver. It says Intel C600 series chipset SAS RAID SATA mode. All right. We close that window and voila, you have your um, driver installed. And this way you will be able to uh, go to the disk management, which is another app that comes on Windows. And the disk manager will be able to see all your drives, even the ones that are connected straight to the um, motherboard, right? that previously were not able to see. Now Windows see all the hard drives and as you can see we have there the disk zero is the, the one that holds the operating system in this case Windows 10 that's a 40 gig solid state drive and we have a couple of drives uh, uh, 500 gig each that we can use either separate or in RAID mode uh, you can either use RAID 0 to make both one big drive or you can use RAID 1 um, to mirror one of the drives with the other one which will give you some kind of redundancy at least uh, will give you some you know some kind of backup we're gonna leave a link on the description box of this uh, video so you can uh, uh, click there and you will have a link on a little article where you will be able to download this uh, driver so you can install it on your Dell Precision T3600 all right that's all we wanted to show you on this video so until next time we'll see you on the next video of World Electro Parts bye bye